Hi, I'm Amy. Welcome to the video. Hey guys, today's video is going to be my year-end 2020 favorites drugstore edition. If you want to hear all the drugstore things that I have been loving from 2020 that I found this year, they're not necessarily things that came out this year, but I found them and fell in love with them this year, then just keep watching. Okay, I have a lot here today. And actually, I'm surprised. I think I have something basically from every category. I did not try to do like one, my most favorite item from each category. I just went through my collection and I pulled out things that I tried this year and anything that was like, yes, that's a favorite is in here, okay? I'm gonna do this in like order of how I would apply these things pretty much. So I'm gonna start with skincare. And these aren't, so there are a lot of like indie brands or brands that you buy online that are affordable that I put in to this. Not all of them are actually things you could get at CVS, but a lot of it is stuff you could actually get at CVS. So this is something that I, um, I buy online. I think you can buy it in store at Ulta. I'm not 100% sure, but that is the ordinary. All three of these items are from the ordinary. I love the ordinary. Okay, so a couple things. One, if you are growing up and no longer want to use a exfoliant, a physical exfoliant, and you want to graduate yourself to a chemical exfoliant, this is your guy. Use a teeny tiny bit, leave it on there for like three minutes the first time, but it is gonna make your skin so soft. It's gonna take everything dead off. It's so wonderful. It's like waking up anew every time that I use it. And I only use this like once a month because I do other skincare. So I don't need, to, I don't feel the need to do this that often, but I didn't even say what this is, but this is the AHA 30%, BHA 2% peeling solution, 10 minute exfoliating facial. And I love this, found it this year. I have used almost half the bottle. Absolutely love it. And I only use it, like I said, like once a month. So love. The 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. If you are a dry skin person, you will love this. Now this is a thick seal it all in moisturizing kind of oil. So if you have oily skin, you're probably terrified of this. I completely understand. I used to have oily skin. I was the same way. Um, but even now that I have dry skin, I only use this at night. I do not use it during the day. It's just too thick. Um, I could use it during the day as like almost like a mask. Like if I weren't going to wear any makeup, put this on because it, it soaks in overnight, but it, it stays on the skin. It's quite viscous. Um, so I do highly recommend this. What I like to do is use this at night after I put like every moisturizing item that I own on my face and use this as like a big old shield to keep all that in and push it into my skin. But I really, really love this and I have noticed that it does help with fading the pigmentation of scars, especially in conjunction with something like this, which peels it away. So this kind of fades it, this peels away the top layer. Beautiful combination. Obviously I don't mix them, but I do use them regularly and together, like in the same routine. And then this one. This one is actually like my top, 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 top favorite. And this one works for dry skin, oily skin. This will work for anyone. The 100% plant-derived squalene oil. I love this so much. This one is my this is my newest ordinary product. And I am like all the way down to here. My rose hip seed oil, I'm on my second bottle. Um, but I mean like this stuff is good. This soaks into your skin. I absolutely love it. If you are looking for a moisturizer that actually goes into your skin, even if you have oily skin, I highly recommend this. I use this before I wear makeup and everything. Like, highly recommend this one. Love. For foundation, I want to show you the Believe Beauty Foundation. I used this for the first time this year, and I've actually tried quite a few <laughs> foundations this year, um, but I used this for the first time this year, and it's just a really good foundation. It's really solid. I don't feel like there's 
like an amazing wow factor it makes me so dewy or it feels so good but it has a nice medium to full coverage it has a good shade range it's really affordable and it's it's like really good especially for the price but it's one that every single time I wear it I don't have a question about it you know I'm not like oh I don't know what is that or hmm not sure about that it's just really good solid foundation and I actually want to start mixing this into other foundations that I don't really like to see if this could be like my neutral ground and it is kind of like a satin natural finish but it does not um it's not too dewy so I feel like oil oily people would like this as well and then this one um if you have been on my channel for any length of time you will know you will have seen this one coming the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation did I say it right? I think I did. I think I did. This foundation is so good. It's so beautiful. It is so lightweight on the skin. I absolutely love it. It is a nice medium coverage, but it is a very dewy, glowy situation. So if you, I don't know if oily skin people would like it, but I definitely think dry to normal skin, especially if you like a glowy finish. I highly recommend this. This one's pretty affordable too and it's got a great shade range and I really really enjoy this. And this next one, it's not technically a foundation, but this is like the sleeper hit. Like I did not I thought this was going to be like I'll try it and it'll be whatever, but like I love <laughs> I really really love this. This is the number 7 Match Made Custom Blend Foundation Drops. So, what these are meant to be is either like there's two kind of kind of ways to yeah see okay let me read it it says shake well mix one to two or three plus drops with a moisturizer or a primer and you use it as a foundation so when I got this I thought that this was like um, supposed to make my foundation lighter you know get a custom enhancer drop type thing but this is definitely not light enough to be lightening up any foundation for me it's actually a little bit dark for me but the undertone is just right but something about the formula in this, it is so beautiful. I love mixing this with my SPF or with Smashbox Primerizer, putting it on my face like a foundation. It's an everyday situation. I don't even put a concealer on. It's one of those ones I just rub it in my hands, put it on like I'm Alana Davison and just feel it. It's so beautiful on the skin, but highly, highly, highly recommend you try this out if that sounds like something you'd be interested in because this one like really really surprised me and have been loving now these two concealers I've been trying to work through my flower beauty concealer which is like my standard everyday favorite concealer and I've been trying to work through it because I've had the one that I have open for like a really long time um but during this year I found this one which might be my like next up might be the next favorite you know like this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer, and they have a terrible shade range in this. Um, even this one, I think, is the lightest shade, and it's not quite light enough for me. It's, like, pretty much a skin tone color. I am wearing it today, um, but it is, it's so, I don't know. I just like that it, like, moves with my skin. You know, it's, like, a medium coverage, and it really moves with my skin. It doesn't stick or cling to anything. It doesn't get too dry or crepey or anything weird. I really, really have been enjoying this. Now I've only gotten to use it a handful of times because I've been trying to use it my Flower Beauty one, but I do really love it every single time that I use it. And then this concealer, this is an old school OG YouTube favorite, and it has become a favorite in a new and interesting way. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. I have the shade Tin Fair here. And I don't love this as an under eye concealer because it just doesn't have enough coverage for me. It, it's just too light of a coverage for me. But I've been loving it to cut my crease in my eyeshadow looks. So I'm not a big cut creaser or like doing fancy makeup. Like this is very fancy for me, okay? And so I find, was finding like every time that I would try to do a cut crease and I put like a uh, tart shape tape or some other big concealer that everybody in the world uses to cut their creases I would get like this almost like a thick layer of the concealer on there and then my eyeshadow when I put it on there would like flake off in chunks because it was just so thick and 
big and bulky and dry on my eyelid. My eyelid just could not handle it, especially this one because this one waters nonstop. I've been loving this to cut my crease because it is so thin and lightweight. It really brightens up the eye just enough, but it is thin that it doesn't like cause any issues on my eye. So I've really been loving it for that. I used this earlier this month in a full face of NYX and it is the NYX High Glass Finishing Powder in light. Yes, light. And it is so beautiful as a finishing powder. Let me like that. I do have it on my face today and I have it like pinpointed a little bit as a highlighter and I just think it gives a beautiful radiance soft focus to the face so it helps you set down your makeup while keeping a radiance so if you are someone who is more on an oily side and you feel like I have to set everything but you like a glowy finish I feel like something like this would be great or if you're just a do lover with dry skin you would love it as well all right next in my personal routine I would do use bronzer and or contour and this one is not something I found this year, but it's something I have re-fell in love with this year. And that is the Profusion Studio Contour Palette. This one right here, specifically this shade right here. I'm not wearing this today. I'm wearing its sister, cousin, the uh, Contour and Highlight Palette. But I really just like the color in this one a little bit more. Like this one's a little bit warmer. This one is just a hair more neutral and the formula on these is so beautiful and buttery and smooth and I really, really love this. If you feel like any of these colors would work for you, I highly recommend this little palette. And then for blushes, I have four blushes here. So let me uh, get through here. Okay, the e.l.f. Bite Size Blush in... lychee um anyways <laughs> it's this beautiful neutral peachy pink color it's my go-to my favorite color actually my second favorite here or my another one of my favorites is romantic rose from milani which i just tried and they are like pretty similar there's a hair floating they are a pretty similar shade though the formula is quite different. This one is a very thin formula that really, really, really blends into the skin. I have this on my cheeks here, like kind of in the front. It's a very natural look to it, whereas the e.l.f. one is a more pigmented, um, powderier, like more thick pigment powder, almost like an eyeshadow um, type of formula, but it does blend out beautifully as well. Highly recommend just trying these out. They're only like $3.00 totally worth the price highly recommend these love this I am so upset that I took so long to try these I love this so much the formula is so nice it's and I think this is like just light enough of a color that it will help me blend in any like too pigmented of a blush that I ever want to try on my face my pale pale face so love this one I also tried in my full face of NYX is the Sweet Cheeks Matte in Fig. And this is a really interesting color to my collection. It's kind of a mauve but it has like a nice, I think I called it mulberry, but it's it's fig. Um, but it's got like a brown undertone, undertone to it. And as you can see, the Maybelline one is, or the Milani one is right next to it. And it's so much more pale. I have this up here on this part of my face and then the milani one in the front i think the colors work really nicely together and it's just like it's pigmented but it's smooth and it does have a kind of a more radiant finish whereas the elf one and the milani one are a matte finish this one has zero glitter don't worry there's no glitter in this but it does have there we go a little bit of a sheen to it which is really beautiful okay we got one more blush and it's a liquid one. The Juicy Pang Blusher in Guava. Again, this is totally my kind of tone, that neutrally pink kind of color. 
This one does have like gold running through it, but I have never noticed it on my cheek. It must just be something that helps um, the formula be kind of radiant. But there is that one. That is the shade Guava. And I got this off of Yes Style. I believe you can also get them on Amazon. Um, but you can get it quite affordably. Um, and this one is a bit more of a pink shade compared to the Milani one. But here, I let that sit for a second and now I'm even blending it even more. But it just blends into the skin. I have like eyeshadow and other things on my hands, so these swatches are terrible. But highly recommend. Um, this is a really great liquid blush formula. It's very thin, easy to use, and like it's hard to make a mistake with this. This is very forgiving. That's the word I was looking for. It's a very forgiving formula. Next, we're going to talk about eyeshadow. And I don't know if you know this about me. But eyeshadow is my favorite. It's foundation and eyeshadow are the top for me. And then it's probably mascara and concealer. But anyways, that's beside the point. Let's talk about some eyeshadow palettes. Number one are these. Lottie London Little Nine Pans. Highly recommend. Go to Lottie London. Check out their nine pans. Pick up your favorite color, you know, t color story, and you will not be disappointed. This is amazing. Amazing. I was so surprised by these little guys. They, they're so unique because normally when you get a drugstore or affordable palette, the mattes are pretty good. Some of the shimmers are pretty good. Some of them are pretty bland. Usually you have to use a liquid, um, you know, like a spray or something to make them really, really pop. But these bad boys, the mattes are incredible. Look at that. Listen, I am not queen of swatches, but they're so good. So this is like a cool tone palette. And this gives you so many variety what this gives you such a variety of shimmer formulas so you ugh, look at that just look at it we look at that just look at it oh my god it's so beautiful so you have like a really creamy metallic formula that is really reflective and smooth this is the kind of shade that would look good on everybody it's very easy to use you could use it as a one and done I bet you could blend these into the into the crease no issue and then you have like really special shades like this purple in the middle is like a glitter topper and it's got like this iridescence to it and all these sparkles in it I don't want to swatch if I swatch all of these eyeshadow palettes, we're going to be here forever. I need to stop. Anyways, <laughs> if you are looking for an affordable eyeshadow palette from the drugstore that is going to get you like a high end look and feel, this is my number one suggestion. If you want to go into the drugstore and purchase them, they do sell these inside of Target. I picked up both of these inside of Target, but they do sell stuff online if you're interested in that. These are my number one for if you want to go buy something inside of a store. Love the formula, love the pigmentation, love how easy it is to blend. Very user-friendly, very high-end feel, and they're, I think, $7 a piece. Super amazing. Next is the NYX Ultimate Palette. Now, I, over the years, NYX has been known to have like a pretty good drugstore formula, and I do agree, it's a pretty good, it's not my favorite formula, but this color story, I love it so much. There are so many different things you can do in here. Like, there's, I've played with this a few times, but I still want to get into this blue. Like, ooh, I can't wait. It's, ugh so good for like winter time mm, yes so also i mean this palette is a year round it's got pretty much everything you could ever need so i think this is an amazing color story which i feel like from the drugstore like physically walk in buy something drugstore you don't get as good of color stories it's usually 
17 like seven shades of the same shade you know this gives you a lot of variety a lot of textures and everything and i really really enjoyed this this is my next formula favorite like number one the lottie london mm, uh, you know what lottie london might be number two for formula just just that they're they're tied okay the next favorite formula from the drugstore and or affordable side is this bad boy the love in london now this is an older palette but i've re-fell in love with it this year and it's just so beautiful i'm sorry about all the reflections it it okay so i did a dupe video for the natasha denona glam video for the natasha denona glam palette so that reignited my love for this and just all the beautiful shades that you get in here and now nabla has dropped the side by side palette which i'm, I'm obsessed with but doesn't this look quite a, a lot like it is that just me so i don't know but i think i gosh these mattes are so creamy beautiful delicious pigmented i do think the lottie london is easier to work with if you're a brand new beginner but this is i mean if you are medium level makeup eyeshadow person this bad boy it's got the pigment it'll give you the payoff it's got ugh, look at these look at these oh gosh they're so beautiful and metallic i love the bh cosmetics 16 pans i mean this one is amazing okay things Things here are things that you most likely gotta buy online. All right, so this next one is something that like, for some reason just came across my page. I had heard about this brand, never tried anything from them. When I saw them release these Juicy Nine pans, I got real interested. I was like, hmm, I might need to try that. So I got two of them. One of them is like a colorful all matte, which like, I like it, but like colorful all matte is not really my vibe. Um, but this one is all metallics. And these metallics are so good. I don't know how to explain it to you other than by showing you. Look at them. Look at them. Oh, they're so good. I just want to put it all over my eye. And I have used <laughs> quite a bit out of this. I don't know if you can tell. But whenever I'm just like about to wash my face and I want to just play with some makeup, this is one of the things that I go to. I Okay, if you just need some really good shimmers, you've got all the mattes you could ever want. You don't want to have a lot of palettes, but you do wish you had some more shimmers. This is your guy. This one is the Juicy Velvet. And then speaking of amazing metallics, if you would like to support an indie brand and you need some metallics, baby, JD Glow is the one for you. These look like tiny little mirrors. They don't even look real. Look at how freaking reflective they are. They are out of this world. They are so soft. Look at this. That's one swipe. One swipe. Swipe back. Swipe back. They're so metallic. These are so beautiful. This is not for the faint of heart. If you like a good <laughs> everyday look, probably not for you, honestly. I'm going to let you know that. But if you like some bling, if you like to do cut creases, if you like to do a halo eye with a big pop, JD Glow, JD Glow, JD Glow. It's in this palette, JD Glow, right there. Love. Also to go with all those fabulous metallics, I wanted to mention my NYX glitter glue, which I have started using and it's amazing for using affordable shadows and making the most out of them or using really high glitter shadows that are like fallouty. Highly recommend. This is like $5. It'll last me a lifetime. So wanted to mention that. And then this last eyeshadow palette in the uh, drugstore or affordable section is the At Forest Sight ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christie palette. Look at how beautiful. I really, really wanted to use this today for my eye look, but I knew I wanted to do like just a silvery kind of 
light glitter and this this gold in here is like bam there's there's no hiding from that gold so it wasn't exactly what I was looking for with today's look so I pulled out this little guy which is mycelium from the collection and this one is like ugh, my hands are literally just glitter now and I'm just wiping this on my pants by the way this one look at that this one is like packed with glitter and it's got like a very very faint kind of gold base I think but it ha it's full of silver and gold glitters and oh it's so good look at how reflective that one is mm, the super shocks are so good this was my favorite super shock from the collection just because it's like an everyday kind of guy and it could like go on top of any of these shades in here and really amp it up but I love this palette and I really, really, really want to play with it more on my channel. If you guys are interested, in, let me know down below. But also right now in this video, I would like to mention that I am giving away a palette, a Raw Beauty Christie at Forest Sight ColourPop palette and a Mycelium Super Shock Shadow. I will have all the details of the giveaway down below. I'm so excited when this launched I picked up the full collection for myself and I also picked up an additional palette and an additional mycelium because I knew it was gonna sell out and I know she had a restock but we're not there yet like to today is the day of the restock in real time but when you see this it won't be so I don't know if it'll still be available but don't worry I got your back I got you one read down below for how to enter my giveaway so I'm really excited for someone else to get to play with this and try it. It's a really good palette, really good. All right, all right. Okay, since we just did eyeshadows, I'm gonna go ahead and do liners. I would like to say the ColourPop Raw Beauty Christie liners, I absolutely love. I've never tried ColourPop Waterline liners and I love them. I actually just purchased a, like a nude color because I need one in my collection. So I really, really enjoy these. Even if you don't get the Raw Beauty Christie ones, I their formula is really good. I want to get a lot more shades, honestly. A lot. And they're really, really affordable. And while we're talking about waterline liners, I want to also mention the LA Girl Neon Shockwave liners. These are so intense, so bright so colorful the colors are really unique because it's not like a blue blue it's like a blue like an aquamarine this yellow has got a little bit of like they're, they're neon i don't know what to tell you they're amazing um they stay in your waterline really really well and these ones are often um like on sale at ulta for like two dollars so highly recommend these and i'm going to quickly just mention my favorite and probably the the only brow product that I've pretty much used on my channel all year, and that is the e.l.f. Ultra Precise Brow. I use Neutral Brown. It's super, it's, I, I don't have great, amazing brows. It helps me easily get some brows, so I highly recommend this if you're looking for something affordable. They do have another option, but it is a actual, like, thicker, the tip of the pencil is a lot thicker. This one is very, very little, so you can really get hair-like strokes, especially if, if you have teeny tiny eyebrows like me. So, and then I am going to recommend this NYX eyeliner that I have only worn three times, but that is because I've tried other pen eyeliners and thrown them all away. But this one, like, I'm very bad at doing eyeliner, and I did this eyeliner. And it looks really good. I have a super watery eye this eye has been watering for the last three hours that I've had this on and it's so good this is the color black the NYX epic ink liner I know this has been like a favorite in the world <laughs> for a very long time but if you have not tried it and you are looking for an eyeliner I recommend it last thing for the eyes is this essence lash princess guys why have I waited so long to try this if you're like me and you have been waiting to try this because you're like, come on, it can't be that good. And then you got sucked in to the high-end mascaras and now you're stuck using Better Than Sex or 
monster big, whatever, get your hands on this. It's five bucks. Definitely worth a try. I'm wearing it today <laughs> over these this big liner and I just, I really like it guys. It does not flake on me. I've been wearing it for hours. Look, there's nothing down here and that's not a big thing for me but I know a lot of people care about that. So it does not flake in me. I, I really like it. Next we are moving on to the lips. I am not gonna have any reds in this video because I just did a red lipstick video where I talk about all of my red lipsticks, rank them, show you what they look like, and give you the 411 on them. So I will put that here so you can check that off if you're interested in red lipsticks. So these ones are gonna be like more, more every day, you know? So the lip liner situation. <sighs> I've got three favorites. They are different colors, even though close up they probably look similar. I'm gonna actually draw them next to each other. We've got three lip liners. My number one favorite is the Alamar Cosmetics lip liner in birthday suit. And that is this one in the middle. It is like the most my lips color. It really blinks out my lips if I wanna wear a nude lipstick that day or if I just wanna wear a gloss. This is the most like my lips and it is a very creamy formula but it does last very long so that is the one in the middle there it's very neutral and paler compared to the other two let's see yeah see yeah they're different and then the more pink one is another one of my favorites this is color pop lippy pencil and oh snap i love me a cool toned lip like a mauvey love that's my kind of nude I don't go for anything really like beigey yet so that one is this right here which is that more pinky one and then this warm one here is the Juvia's Place lip liner in sweet nothing so when I do wear a warmer lip a brown lip a warm nude lip this is the one that I go for but I love all three and I've used them a lot <laughs> This year for someone who used to never wear anything on her lips. Watch my full face of ColourPop video, guys. Because in that video, I put on a lipstick and I took it off because I was like, I can't handle color on my lips. It has been three months and look at me. YouTube has changed me. Anyways, let's talk about lipsticks. My favorite. My favorite nude is Juvia's Place Chic. It is so beautiful. It really goes well with the ColourPop Oh Snap Lip Liner. It's a soft mauve color. My beautiful, perfect, everyday nude kind of color. It is a couple steps deeper than my lip, but it helps, you know, like frame that part of my face really well. So that is that one. And this next one is a brown, you guys. The next one is Her Magic from Prapa Beauty. I absolutely, first of all, I love this formula. I love all the shades that I have, but this one is my favorite. And it is this deep chocolate, well deep for me, for my skin tone. Deep chocolatey, kind of rosy brown right here. But I do really love this color because it has like a richness to it. I really love all the ones that I have. Closer is like super neutral, deep brown, and then Finesse is like my warm nude, like favorite warm nude. But this is my favorite, favorite shade of them. And I love the formula. It's so creamy. I just want to put them on my lips. Actually, I keep opening it like I'm going to put it on my lips, but Amy, you're wearing a red lip. Please don't do that. <laughs> so those are my favorite lipsticks. And then I have one lip gloss, and that is the Lifter Lip Gloss from Maybelline. I do have two shades. I love them both. This is just the one that I, I know where it is. I don't know where the other one is right now. But these are so comfortable. These are the most comfortable lip glosses that I've tried to date, I'm pretty sure. It is the most, it's like nourishing, and not in the same way that my Laneige Lip Glowy Balm that I wear all the time, because that's a little bit more thin. This is thicker like a gloss, like a lacquer type gloss. It gives you that glossy look, but it does feel so nourishing on the lips and it doesn't leave a white ring. It doesn't move around too much. Mm, absolutely love 
the Maybelline Lifter Glosses. That is all of the makeup. I'm gonna throw in a few makeup brushes now. First of all, we have this Eco Tools Full Powder Brush. If you've never tried an Eco Tools brush, these are like the softest brushes. You know that I have dry skin and I don't love to really powder my whole face. Like I don't bake or anything, but I used to have oily skin, so I still have that like innate need to powder my face. This is really great because of how lightweight and fluffy it is and the shape is really nice that I can like powder my face ever so slightly without losing my glow, without feeling like caked on with powder, without feeling like I'm wearing a mask, and it, it really helps to take down the stick of the foundation no matter what powder you're using, just because of the way that it applies powder. So I really, really love this brush and highly recommend. Then this is the Flower Beauty Precision Blush Brush. This one is so nice because of how small it is. And actually I bought this because Allie Glines raves about, I think it's a Jaclyn Hill X Morphe blush brush that is kind of similar to this. And she's always just like, eh, my little blush on and I'm like wow that looks so good it looks so nice so I love this it's super nice fits right in the blush area I think I would probably like it for highlight too honestly but I really like it too because once you're done fanning out you can get it like blended in this area without putting color like on your nose and in the middle of your eye and stuff so I really love this brush I have not tried their other brushes but I'm curious to see the shapes of them because I do like it's very soft and I highly recommend next this is influenced by the Samantha Ravendahl and that is the elf 105 brush I actually saw these in store at what's it called Walmart yeah I saw this in store at Walmart and it was clearance and I bought two I was like Samantha Ravendahl says and this is clearance are they getting rid of it I need two so I actually love that I get, I, I got two though, because I used one for like cream contour. I use, I use these for creams, FYI. I didn't mention that. I use one for cream contour and one for cream blush. And something about the, let's show you, the variance in the bristles, how they have those tiny little ones hanging off there, really helps to like give you a blendability as well as pack it on because it does have a density. So I really, really love these. They're really, really lovely for cream products. And this year I've gotten way more into cream products. So I've been using these a lot. And then there were three. My three infamous NYX eyeshadow brushes. Guys, if you have not tried NYX eyeshadow brushes, you are failing. If you have tried Morphe, if you have tried ColourPop, get the NYX ones. <laughs> These are so good, guys. Okay, the number 16 is my favorite blender brush. I just, it's so good. It might be a little small for some people's liking. Some people might like a bigger blender brush, but I do have pretty small eyes. So this is a really good blender size for me. And then this is a detailed blender. This is the number 44. Really good for getting right into that crease. Really good for smoking out the lower lash line. It is got like a domed shape. Let me put them all right here so you can see them. And I really, really like this for precision work or deepening up my outer corner. Love. And then this one is actually my favorite um, under eye brush and that is the 43. It is just a, a thin, fluffy smudger. Um, but I really like it. And these these two are vegan. The white ones right here, 43 and 44. I don't think that this one is vegan. And the last thing that I have here in my affordable favorites, and I wasn't sure if I should call this affordable, but it is. They are affordable. And that is these two lights lacquer shades. My favorite shades are Lila from the Nude collection, which is actually the third nude. It is not the lightest one, but I love this shade. It's like it's like a pale hazelnut kind of shade and she called it Lila and it looks like this. There we go. Love this shade. And then this is one from her fall collection. It's called 
Mia. Let me turn this under so you can see. And as you can see, it really goes with my skin tone. It's got that rosy tone to it. So I really love both of these. All right, so that is all of my urine favorites for 2020 in the drugstore affordable category. Yeah, I hope you check some of that out. Let me know down below if you have tried some of these things or if you know things that are similar to these things that I need to try. Also, don't forget to read the description box to join the giveaway and your chance to win a palette sent to you by me. And that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me so much. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.